All right, we're going to talk about visual rhetoric and how images persuade our thinking. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is look at this image. And when we look at this image, we see, um, we're gonna, first thing we want to do before we even look at the questions is what observations can we make? What do we see? So I see it's from Onion Magazine. I see the date's 2014. I can see that it's a little child, but they've made the child um, two faces of two different children and pressed them together. Um, I can see that the text and big red capitalized text is Palestinian boy's face, Israeli child's face. So we have the two religions. Um, and then I'm going to read the text. If we can find a way to Photoshop the right half of a Palestinian boy's face with the left half of an Israeli child's face so that it kind of looks like one face, why can't Israeli and Palestine, Israel and Palestine find peace? So they're looking at trying to solve kind of a world issue or um, national issue, and probably more specific to these two religions. So let's look now at the purpose. What is the purpose of the image? Is it to communicate, argue, persuade, or involve human interaction? Um, it could be to inform. So these aren't the only options for sure, but these are some of the most common ones. I think it's to communicate a problem. So notice I'm not just saying communicate. Communicate what? Communicate a problem, possibly involve human interaction to help this problem. So I think that might be the purpose. If any symbols are used, what symbols? Well, I don't see any symbols being used, but if then I start thinking about the appeals, what appeals? Ethos, pathos, or logos? I feel that pathos is being used here because whenever we're talking about family and children, um, that tends to pull on the heartstrings and that would lead towards pathos. So this would be, since I don't have any symbols, I'm going to go towards the appeals and say this would be pathos. What is the function? Are they trying to create warmth? Are they encouraging people? Are they exploring limitations? Are they mem um, memorializing someone? I would say that here they're exploring the limitations. Like, how do we fix this problem? There is a limitation in this country, and how do we fix this problem between these two religions? So that's what I would say that they are trying to do. So now what I would like for you to do is um, take that information and apply it to the images provided to you by your instructor.